So last week I reviewed the trailer of my first app, Huge. Huge is a minimalist drawing experience, yet packed with unique and powerful tools. It is designed to spark your creativity through simplicity. So let's take a closer look at the app. The first thing you will notice is the black canvas. We all used to draw on whiteboards, white canvas, white paper. So in contrast, a black canvas instantly will jump start your creativity. And as you can see, all the buttons are located down. There is no menus on the top, no menus on the right, and no menus on the left. Let's take a look at these buttons one by one. In the draw menu, the draw tool is enabled by default. You can change the thickness by using the slider underneath. Then you have the pixelated button. By enable it, you will switch from normal draw into pixel mode. But to change the pixel size, you can't use the thickness slider just like what we did earlier. Instead, you must change the size of the grid. More on that later. Then you have the stabilized button. And as you might guess, you can enable it to stabilize the drawing. And the last button on this menu is spaced. By enable it, you can have spaced drawing lines. To exit this menu, tap on return. The second menu is the text menu. Select text, write, then select done. Still the text is not validated yet. You can tap text again to write something else. You can drag the text anywhere in the canvas. You can change the color, font, size, and even rotate it. Once you are satisfied, select return, and the text will be validated. The third menu is shapes. Select the shape and tap on the canvas to place it. Then drag to scale it. Once you remove your pencil, the shape will be validated. But there's a lot more to do here. You can tap and hold on some of the shapes to change them into filled shapes. Or you can select the eraser button to change the simple shapes into powerful trim tools. And one more thing, when you add a shape and drag to scale it, hold your pencil a little bit, then you can rotate the shape, release your pencil, and tap again to drag the shape around. Now when you release your pencil, the shape will be validated. Now let's move to the lines menu. By default, the normal straight line is enabled, but there is four more additional lines. I call them the scent lines. Each will affect the line with a specific waveform. Not only that, but you can change the waveform with the frequency and amplitude sliders. Then you have the export button. Tap once to export as JPEG. Tap and hold to export as PNG with transparent background. Next you have the grid menu. The middle four buttons are representing four different styles of grids. Each grid have another two themes. You can change the opacity with the opacity slider and change the size of the grid cells with the size slider. And this is very important. The size of the grid cell is affecting the pixelated tool and affecting the tile symmetry. And we will get to that in a minute. The last button on the grid menu is the export button. If you enable it, the grid will be exported as a background for your image. Next, we have the color menu. The middle four buttons are the color palettes. Each will give you five colors next to the white color and the eraser. And if you tap and hold on each of these color palettes, you will get extra colors. In the top four buttons, we got solid, random, rainbow, and neon. These are the color effects. You can use them individually or combine them together. Last button in the middle row is the clear button. One tap and all your work is gone. But don't worry, you can undo that. And last but definitely not least, the symmetry button. First, you have the three standard symmetry tools. Vertical, horizontal, 
and quadrant. And then, remember when I told you the grid size affect the tile symmetry? Let's enable the tile symmetry and see what does it do. The next three symmetry tools are affected by the segment slider. First, the radial symmetry. Then, the rotational symmetry, which is my favorite. Then, the randomness symmetry, which is something that do exactly what it should. Try to draw something and wait a second. It will scatter clones of your draw across the canvas. This was a quick look at the app. And in the next uploads, I will focus on showing you more examples, tips, and tricks. I hope you enjoy it.